Good morning and welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2 and this fifth or sixth episode of uh, Let's Play it here. So I added a few mods, this Nordic trailer pack, this beacon pack, all links to those are in the description. Uh, I also actually tried out, let's see, I tried this one and I tried this one, I haven't tried that one yet. Uh, and this one didn't work. I didn't get it to work because all every time when I tried to like to hook it up to something, it sort of got stuck. So it couldn't get beneath, underneath the, underneath the trailer. So, so I couldn't use that, unfortunately. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna remove remove this from package and not use that. Uh, I will probably try this out later on. Uh, this worked. Uh, but it was very underpowered, so I, I just tried that a little bit and then I, I reverted back to it. Now the safe came and didn't use that, so but anyway, um, I couldn't get this to work. So if, if someone knows how to get that to work, great, let me know. Please put that in the comments. But I couldn't get it to work, maybe it's just something with me. This beacon pack was kind of cool, so uh, I'm gonna go here and let's see. We don't need all of these auto save. How many auto saves do I have? Ah, I know. Do that. Uh, yes, that continue. So I disabled that. Um, but if anyone knows how to get that working, please let me know. Kim had uh, changed. So I actually I bought another truck. If we go into the company manager here, we can look at all our trucks. So I have four trucks now. This is the one I was driving, the black one. So I had another driver here for that. I bought this one, which is ordinary Scania, um, but with some beacons on top. Of I can tell. Okay. I'll uh, drive and I'll show you. Kind of chose a cool color. Um, oh no, I can show you. Uh, so the mods, um, the scanner worked, the F10 to F12 didn't work for some reason. Um, and I bought another scanner, which when I drove around in it a bit yesterday, and then I suddenly realized why <laughs> I didn't like driving it. Where are we? That's weird. been driving why am I not hmm. Friday Saturday yesterday quite some distance here this but this is the save game from yesterday 23 29 uh, which is, is correct nice. I finished in Cambridge I'm pretty sure I finished the game yesterday. After a very long drive. Okay, well. It's odd, the money seems right. Seems to amount of money we had, but for some reason my truck is in Kiel again. Well, that seems right. I repaid a 10,000 loan after I finished the drive to Cambridge, so the money seems right and the loan part seems right, but. 
for some weird reason. I don't know. I wasn't here. Okay, well, anyway. Um, I also wanted to show you. I did some changes after Googling to the setup with the steering wheel. So now I can actually move it in really, really small increments with the steering wheel. So now I can actually drive it was like twerking before. Um, and the thing I did was that I went in here, controls, and, and I found this online. Someone who recommended this. So, um, Steering sensitivity to max and steering non, -lin non linearity to 50. And then steering dead zone to zero. And that, that was those things that you said. And then and suddenly everything became so much more easy to drive. So, anyway, yeah, let's see. Mm, short drive something where we can make money this one 42 I, i'm looking at how much money we make per kilometers 42 is a really great i know it's a little underpowered but that will probably work out oh sorry So that's one of those trailers from the trailer pack. Freya, the Nordic transportation. And the beacon here is really cool. That's a really cool beacon. Uh, that's a part of the beacon pack. I had some trouble installing that because it didn't. Oh, sorry. Uh, Realize knew how to get it in, but you just sort of put the whole zip file in the mod folder, and that worked out pretty good. So here you can see. I mean, I can do really tiny modifications in the same way, like you would in real life. So this is so much realistic, more realistic than before. Why it ended up here is really weird. I don't know something went. I guess something went wrong with the save file there. Also did a lot of changing to the setup when it comes to <coughs> the cruise control. Take it off. Yes, yes I know. Some I think sometimes you, it's, it's problematic with power, but I've done these trips before where we complained about my truck being on the power, but it seems to work out anyway. Uh, let me know if the sound is okay. So, if you think I have, um, if you think there's something wrong with the sound, uh, so the th stuff I added to the cruise control list, I added the, the one of the buttons. Uh, resumes and then I plus and minus on the numpad increases the, the cruise control it increases it by five kilometers per hour so that's much more easier to just hit the resume button and then you click it up to 80 knots and, you, and it will do, do that itself because one of the things I, I found annoying before is that I had to hold on the hold on the button I have assigned to to accelerate because my I lost my pedals, so I don't have a pedal. So the steering steering wheel. Um, that's it. So if we now set uh, out in the scan I can't see it. In the, in the Volvo, I do have. Um, you can see on the display uh, what the cruise control is set to. So I have to imagine now it's 50, 60, 70, 80. So now it's 80 commas. In the scanner you can see that, Oop. but in the Volvo you can see actually cruise control speed settings on the 
to display in the in the in the vehicle. The only the display in the dashboard. I mean. get up over like 40 kilometers power for it to actually <coughs> to be able to engage the cruise control so now I'll just resume I don't have to press any button and it will accelerate to 80 kilometers per hour so I really like the colors of the, the truck I think it's cool colors change to stay in the middle lane. Some that's one of the hard things. Most roads you need to stay in the middle line lane to go forward or left lane. Um, which is uh, for me it's kind of odd. But I guess that's the way it is. So you see so now suddenly driving along on the freeway is possible. I mean it's possible to stay in the same la lane which was really hard before. Because you can do tiny tiny adjustments to the steering wheel so this is I mean brilliant I should have googled that long just long before episode 5 <laughs> or after after after, after episode 5 so mm. oh, that's my silliness no oh, I don't know why I didn't google it I, I just and the thing the reason why I realized I had could do that it was the because I'm gonna beat you um, and the truck I mean. Um, the reason why I googled this was I, I played Farming Simulator 17 on the Blickling Farm episode and then I was like doesn't do this twerky thing uh, or skip it it's, doesn't do the thing that it did on on, e on your truck simulator simulator on the Farming Simulator it's the same steering wheel so it can't be a, a mechanical problem has to be a software related problem and then I thought about well, your truck simulator is from 2013 it has a few years on its on snack and maybe that's the problem you, you can't really set it up as fine tune but then I realized that the steering wheel I have is really, really old I mean that's like 10 15 years old or something so why shouldn't it be able to use that precisely so if it can do that with farming simulator and then I googled and I found the settings I think I just googled your truck simulator uh, women formula for CP uh, settings or something uh, and then I found it just a link how to set it up so I did that and that said it worked much better oh it's brilliant it works brilliantly now I can drive really long long routes without any problem more relaxing before it was not very relaxing because it was like twitching and twitching and going all over the place now I can stay in the lane I want to which makes this this uh, game so much more enjoyable but also slightly boring because now it's just like driving a car but it's a truck in a simulator Get here, we'll have um, 10 grand, I think. Oh, well, maybe we'll do another trip before we repay our 50. No, we could probably repay our 50,000 euro loan. I want to repay some loans. I have a 50 and a 100,000 I can repay, I think. Um, oh, well, got overtaken by cow truck. Animal transport. Uh, so the driving experience is this, and this is really enjoyable. I mean, this is very nice. Now it's very nice. Last episode, I don't know if the driving experience was as, as nice. It was, seems more problematic. So if you haven't set up, if you have a steering wheel and you haven't set it up, Google, uh, I want to just set it up as I said. The key seemed to be. <coughs> non-linear thing we put that to the 50% and everything went 
really brilliant after that. Uh, also, let's see. I, I don't. I, I've probably said this before, but I'll, I'll repeat it. If you tell me if the ambient sound or the background sound is overpowering my voice on this recording, I think I, it shouldn't, but it might. So let me know if it does. I want to know that. Oh, cool. Volvo the XC90, I think. There's lots of different cars in this game. Uh, kind of cool. Driving along with our truck. So I try to keep. I try to use uh, material uh, or transport stuff that is high value per kilometer. Even though I might not drive as far, I, I want something that will yield me much a lot of money per kilometer. Uh, and that's just because, it's, I mean, if I'm driving a distance, I want to get the most out of it. So, so this was, a, I think this is probably the highest yielding stuff I transport. Let me see if I can see it there. Good job now. I'm getting close to there. Oh, sorry. Um, but I mean, this is probably the, one of the most. Uh, this, this is probably the top yielding stuff I've transported, and that could have something to do with me actually having upgraded certain qualities in my driver. Uh, for instance, the the ability to transport uh, expensive stuff. Uh, I just I have to pause. So, damn it! I missed the exit. Sorry. Wait. I'll be right back. Sorry, but that my daughter is a, and son is eating breakfast. And I'm sorry, this is not the correct way to do this. That was so illegal. Sorry, I just didn't have time to go and turn around. Um, well, the beacons came in handy, at least. Uh, that was not the Way. I would never drive that in real life. Yes, I would lose my driver's license so badly. So 60, so we'll go. Wait, now we, I would hit the resume button and it goes to 80, so I'll reduce that to 75, 70, 65, 60. So now it should stop at 60 kilometers per hour. Uh, and as I said, in the Volvo, you can see that on the display, it's much easier than the Scania. I don't know if it, this is just because it's a very cheap Scania, or if I buy a, a more expensive Scania, I'll get better. Uh, if you have, I'll get that on the display somewhere. I hope, hopefully, I don't know, but I have no idea. Much, as I said, much more enjoyable game. Um, I have to figure that out, out with the steering wheel. So I've been driving quite a lot uh, the last three, three days and I haven't recorded anything, uh, but I've been driving a lot uh, just to get money for my business. And been, uh, luck, I'm happy to be able to buy this Scania truck. I should upgrade the engines if I money had money though. It's slightly underpowered. Or very underpowered. But I had a had a heavy load. That's why. Oh now you can really notice the heavy load. 
and the underpowered truck. Um, but then we so should I upgrade the engine or should I just continue driving this and uh, repay my loan? Hmm, no. And now it's downhill and we'll overspeed because we have so much weight on the back. And my daughter wants another sandwich. Oh. I just have to. I'm almost there. Wait a minute. I'm just gonna say, tell her that I'll be right there. Yeah, come It's a good thing you can pause this game. Um, just going to finish this and. Then I'll go back here and on the sandwich. I don't know, that was probably my fault. I should have yield there. Yelled, yield. I hit the resume button, but the speed was too low, so... That's why I didn't, didn't do that. The cars are driving much faster than I am. I'm just gonna go in. Leave this load here in Bremen. And I'm gonna stop this episode. Um, Such yet, yeah, sorry. Yeah, we got a red light, of course. I should have broke break. I didn't break now. Sorry. Do you like this truck? It's a really cool color. somewhere. Volvo truck? Lots of truck here, but that's the way it is. Like, I said, it's really clean. A really clean truck. Without anything it's not very personalized. Personalized. I don't know if you would personalize personalize stuff, but oh, I guess a little bit you would do it with your truck.
I like, I like this part of like the game, the parking, and it that is actually a sort of. I mean, that's this is the way it would be in real life. It's not all open spaces and easy parking. This is also much oh, I was gonna say much easier with it with the steering wheel and then I screwed it up. So, let's see how much money we got. Reasonable, okay, why was it only reasonable? Oh damage, yeah, sorry. Of course. I'm still a skilled worker. So that's that's the I'm gonna stop there. I uh, hope to see you next time on your truck simulator two and this let's play and what else mm, if you like this channel please subscribe if you like this episode please hit the like button leave a comment or share have a great day take care bye bye